Moiré. Moiré. Sounds French? Uno, dos, tres? No, that's Spanish. Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com, and today I am looking out at the person walking at the path on the... Today I am testing moiré patterns uh, on the Canon cameras. So what I'm going to do is a series of tests, and I what I did is I downloaded a moiré pattern, stuck it up on the wall, took a picture of it, and what I noticed is you can get a moiré pattern on somebody's shirt if they're wearing a mesh shirt or something like that, and it comes alive. It comes alive. It starts moving and distracting. It takes away from the story. So what I want to do is find out how it relates to sharpness, because I have heard stories that if you lower the sharpness, you can get rid of the moiré. What I did is I downloaded a moiré pattern off the web, put it up against the wall, and I moved it slightly back and forth like this, because usually that's what happens when the shirt comes alive is when somebody moves slightly, and you can see the moiré pattern come, al come alive. So here's a series of tests. Okay, in this first one, we're gonna do a sharpness of zero with 1 50th of a second shutter at full resolution at 1080. All right, now we're at a sharpness of three, and I can see those concentric rings on both left and right sides of the center are getting more pronounced. And here is sharpness of seven, and getting more pronounced. And just for comparative purpose, let's go back, back to zero, so you can see the difference between seven and zero. And you can see there's much less going on there. All right. All right, since I do a lot of filming uh, in 720p mode with 60 frames per second, because I like to be able to slow motion stuff, this example is going to show you uh, in 720p mode. I use a shutter speed of 1 25th um, for that 180 degree rule. It's sharpness of zero right there. Now we're going to sharpness of three. And you can see those uh, concentric rings on the left and right are getting more pronounced. And go to seven here in a second. There's seven, even worse. And then we'll go back to zero here in just a second, right now. There's zero. You can see it's much less pronounced. So I just wanted to see what 720p looks like since I do a lot of filming in that, that particular type of, type of thing. Okay, now what I wanted to do is compare two of them for the high resolution. This is high resolution at 50th of a second, uh, 1080. Uh, sharpness is zero, but I also want to compare it to um, 720, which I do a lot of filming in as well. And it looks like the winner is um, the higher resolution 1080. And we can go back to it here in a second. Here's 1080, and that seems to be less pronounced. So, not sure why. Maybe it's the shutter speed. Um, all right, now we'll go on to the next test. In the next test, I asked myself, well, what happens if um, I do a lot of slow motion? Let's compare the sharpness of zero at full resolution, 1080. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow down what I usually do to a 0.4 playback. Here's slow motion, because uh, I do a lot of slow motion in 720p, and I wanted to see the difference. And just for comparative purpose, let's go back to the full resolution. And to me, it looks like the full resolution is better, even at slow motion. I didn't know if the slow motion would change it at all. I am very dull, 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 dull. I turned down the sharpness from the standard picture style of three down to a goose egg. So I wanted to see, you know, what the difference was in post. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to switch to a sharpness that I think equals the sharpness of the standard picture style in post. So right now I'm talking to you in the standard picture style with a sharpness of zero, but on post I've increased it to where I think it matches the other one. So the idea is that if I did have a shirt that was coming alive, um, I'd shoot at a, a uh, lower sharpness and that would, you know, eliminate or reduce the amount of moiré. And then later in post, I would bump the sharpness back up again to where it should be and not have the moiré effect. Also, I want to give a big shout out to Tina Kaluker, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, she was my first person to uh, do the donate button on my website, and I'm really really happy that uh, somebody donated to my site. So thank you very much, Tina. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe, subscribe somewhere.
All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.